Hong Kong occupies a prime location in South Asia for many commercial activities, especially including international trade. I traveled to Hong Kong to investigate the natural hazards that can affect this vibrant region. Whereas many sections of South Asia are at risk from major earthquakes and tsunamis, I found that the most important natural hazards in Hong Kong are typhoons and landslides. In contrast, earthquakes and tsunamis appear to be secondary hazards. Now, if you look uh, off to uh, the left, you'll see that it looks a bit overcast, and in fact, what we're seeing is a smog and a haze, which uh, is very common in Hong Kong due to the air pollution coming from the local region as well as coming from the north along the river valleys from China where there is a concentration of construction. Daily life in Hong Kong requires the continual delivery of goods to the numerous shops that serve the local population. Here is a very typical street scene with the shops that serve fresh meat, fruit, and vegetables. Certainly one of the things that comes to mind when you think of Hong Kong is its enormous economic influence in South Asia. This, of course, was the reason that the British and Portuguese wanted to establish outposts in South Asia for trade and economic development. The Treaty of Nanjing that authorized the British to own Hong Kong in perpetuity was signed in 1842. The handover of Hong Kong back to the Chinese took place in 1997. So Hong Kong's history is very much tied to economic development. Since 1997, there have been a lot of changes. Some of the financial capital has left since the handover in 1997, and some Chinese have moved to Canada and elsewhere. In 2003, there was the SARS epidemic that caused people to lose confidence. Since then, the economy has come back fairly strongly. My visit as a geophysicist and geologist focuses on some of the natural hazards that, face, that the city faces. And in particular, uh, I'm here on this visit to think about the hazards from tsunamis. And uh, we do know that there is a potential of tsunami um, influencing, uh, causing destruction in Hong Kong and southern China from a uh, Philippine seismic source. However, such tsunamis in South Asia are historically known to be few in number. Likewise, local earthquakes are rare and of low magnitude. Most of the risks that the city faces due to natural hazards are not due to earthquakes and tsunamis, but to meteorological phenomena such as typhoons, which can be very strong and are frequent here. These typhoons can damage buildings and cause severe flooding. Another sort of challenge that people face is the increasing air pollution due to the energy demands and coal burning and smog that moves into Hong Kong from southern China often rendering the air very unclear and unhealthy. Another kind of hazard comes from landslides. Indeed, landslides are a very common occurrence in Hong Kong because the territory is built on very steep topography. And this steep topography has in many cases become unstable and resulted in massive, dramatic landslides that have destroyed entire buildings and killed many people. <laughs>